Hi, people. Do you like superhero movies? Well, who wouldn't like them? Thanks to major comic book companies such as Marvel and DC, in recent years we witnessed a superhero transformation in Hollywood. We can confidently say that the first Avengers movie has become a milestone for the future of cinema, as people finally realized the potential within superhero movies. They were colorful, filled with amazing CGI effects, funny, and of course, heavily action-packed. However, they were also not lacking in the scenario department. Especially the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies were highly philosophical as we watched our characters going through some existential crises and dealing with difficult topics such as mourning throughout the years. That being said, though adults enjoyed these movies a lot and children also aspire to them, most of the superhero content is not for the kids. They're targeting adults and young adults who can handle watching such serious topics being delivered with intense action scenes on screen. For children, however, we need more delicate movies that are staying away from heavy topics and rather focus on the educational content. Yes, they can also watch superhero movies, but they need more light-hearted ones that are preferably entered around child superheroes. It's always important to see yourself on the screen and children seeing themselves as superheroes might positively influence their self-identity. To target the children's audience with such a prospect, Netflix came up with We Can Be Heroes movie, working with the legendary children's movie director, Robert Rodriguez. Despite getting only a 4.5 rating on IMDb, the movie enjoys a 75% score on Rotten Tomatoes, meaning that there are mixed reviews on it. However, as far as the children are concerned, they're absolutely happy with the movie, even demanding more of it. Being aware of the demand, Netflix confirmed that the second movie is on the way and we cannot wait for it. In the first movie, we watched all our superheroes being kidnapped, leaving their superpowers and families alone in the world. It was a pretty difficult situation for them. However, in the end, we learned that all of it was to test the superheroes to see if they can handle such harsh circumstances. Now that they have matured in the superhero business, in the second movie, we expect them to face some serious villains and show off their powers more. Rodriguez is known for directing the Spy Kids movies, which are critically acclaimed. Naturally, expectations are very high from him and people cannot help themselves but compare We Can Be Heroes to the Spy Kids movies. That being said, we feel like the second movie will be very effective in securing the Netflix movies position as a new branch of movies that deserves to be judged separately. We also expect the second movie to have more or less the same cast as their chemistry in working together was amazing throughout the first one. This means that we will get to see a Gosselin as Missy Morno, Priyanka Chopra Jonas as M.S. Granada, Adriana Barraza as Anita Morno, Pedro Pascal as Marcus Morno, Holla Finley will be seen as Ojo, Lion Daniels as Noodles, Nathan Blair as Wild Card, Andy Walken as Wheels, Lotus Blossom as a Capella, Dylan Henry Lau as Slow Mo, Vivian Blair as Guppy, Isair Russell Bailey as Rewind, Akira Akbar as Fast Forward, and Andrew Diaz as Facemaker. We expect the movie to be released around spring 2022, as it would be perfect timing for the kids who are tired of school and cannot wait for summer. What are your expectations from We Can Be Heroes 2? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.